Hi right, guys. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's all rested up after the uh, big 48 hour build. Everybody looks like they survived it. Saw, the, saw a lot of good uh, builds out there. The guys did. Uh, whether you finished or you didn't, you persevered and you finished it up. The guys that finished, excellent job. Uh, thanks, Craig. Uh, I had a good time. It was uh, well worth being a part of. Um, definitely in next year. All right, boys. What you looking at here? This is my next build. Uh, this is being dedicated to this guy right here. Him and his grandfather. Um, his grandfather um, was David Mayo and he was a driver in the 24th company of the Royal Army Service Corps um, he served uh, from September 14th 1943 to July 18th 1947 he, and he was called up at the age of 18 Um, <laughs> I guess it, yeah, you find out how much of a small world it is, and it's funny to find out the more the modeling I do, how things add up, and um, let me let me put this together for you, okay? Most of you guys know Fred Henry, Pappy, Georgia Rods and Customs, and Aerospace. His dad, SF, flew C-47 cargo planes during World War II over the hump. Now, also known as the CBI, or the China-Burma-India campaign. Okay? So while Fred's pappy, while Pappy's pappy was flying in the, uh, was flying all the cargo in and everything to supply... Um, we were supplying the Chinese at the time, fighting against the Japanese on the Burma Road and Lido Road, because the Burma Road was eventually bottled up by the Japanese, and they started started building the Lido Road, but that's a whole other story. So let me get back to this. So while Pappy's Pappy was flying the uh, supplies in, Al Wood's grandfather, David, was driving the trucks was driving the trucks that were taking the supplies from what Pappy was offloading. So it is very plausible, very plausible, that Al's grandfather and Pappy's father may have had a cup of coffee in the same headquarters, or, or um, not headquarters, um, yeah, what do you call it, mess tent, they may have brushed shoulders, they may have said hello to each other, they may have, they may have not, but it's plausible that, you know, they could have, could have bumped into each other with never even knowing farther on down the road that this would all come for a full circle. So, uh, me and Al have been talking, he wanted to do a buddy build, and he said that he was getting into a uh, bomber build that somebody over, I forget who was putting it on, but he was going to get into it, and he had asked me if I wanted to. And uh, I said, no, I wouldn't do that, because I have a few things that I need to get done. But what I would do is that I would build a B-24 while he was building his. So with that in mind, this is what I'm building. Now, upon reading the... Upon reading the uh, directions, I come to find out that this bomber was in the CBI. This plane flew in the China-Burma-India uh, um, campaign, I'm sorry, campaign. So, I guess you can't get any better than that. Um, so, this is the start of my buddy build slash 
uh, dedication appreciation build to uh, Al and his grandfather. Um, I'm somehow I'm gonna try the name. I asked Al if it was okay if I can somehow work this uh, bomber name, maybe use his wife's name. Um, so we'll see what happens. I have his wife's name. I'm not gonna say what it is until I figure out what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm not sure yet. I've already started. I started it yesterday. Um, got some stuff done. It's a long road ahead. This uh, this thing is Flash City. My buddy Al too. After I told him I was dedicating to him, he kind of zinged me and, and he said, "Good, well I, I I hope because he didn't know I was dedicating to him. He thought I was just going to dedicate it to his grandfather. But anyway." He says to me, is that good? He goes, now that you, I know that, he's going, now I hope you have a hard time with it. And, well, thanks, Al. I just want you to know, buddy, that I went, I, I said that before I opened it, and I opened it, and I was like, oh, my God. Just, uh, I mean, you can probably see some of, some of it here. There's just a little of it there. All the cleanup I've had to do. Mrs. Mac ain't gonna be happy. I'm gonna have to get the rack. But uh, yeah, um, the reason the reason I'm doing it for Al too. Um, uh, me and Al, we talk. We've we've uh, emailed a few times, and uh, we've talked about more than more than just models. Um, He's confided in me a few things, and I confided in him a few things that, uh, like we said, we don't even think our wives know. And uh, it's good when you can have a rapport with somebody like that, that you can trust somebody enough to tell them things like that. And uh, it's always safe with me. Oh, drop cats all. Back from the vet. We get a good, uh, huh? You get okay? Huh? Everything must be okay. Beautiful. But, uh, yeah, um, it's good to have that report with uh, this man. Um, I admire him for what... Uh, <clears throat> I knew I was going to have a tough time with this. I admire him for... Uh, certain things that he's been through him and, and he's still able to get up and, uh, and and move along and and persevere and uh, there's nothing higher than that so that's why I'm doing this for him and uh Possibly for his grandfather's service. So, thanks, buddy. I thank your grandfather. Um, yeah. So, like I said, I'm gonna. Uh, the good thing about this is you can build a lot of subsets. I got a lot of interior green to paint, so. <laughs> Interior green and all of drab, two of my favorite colors. No gloss. I don't have to worry about any shine, pap. But, uh, yeah. It's not going to be named the goon, that's for sure. But, uh, this thing is all too my, uh, my glass is yellowed. I haven't looked at what year this is, but. You can't see it here, but the glass has got like a little yellowish tinge to it. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But, all right, boys. That's what it is. I'll be talking to you. Peace out.